And we begin tonight with breaking news in Dallas where two high school football players have been wounded in a drive by shooting happened three minutes from campus right after the Roosevelt Mustang spring practice. The assistant coach was giving two boys a ride home when someone opened fire near the Cedar Crest golf course and we've seen a heavy police response on Bonnie View Road Janelle tonight. Janelle Ford just spoke with coach Terrence Lowry and she joins us live from the scene. Well, Chris and Izzy, when we first got out here, Coach Lowry was in tears and he was being consoled by a group of friends. He was shaken up. We spoke off camera and he told me that one of those bullets pierced his headrest and just narrowly missed hitting him. Now, Coach Lowry said that they had just wrapped up football practice. It was around 6.30 p.m. and he was on his way to take two of his sophomore players home. He told me that they were driving down Bonnie View and when they got near Cedar Crest Golf Course, someone drove up and started shooting at their car. He told me bullets hit both players. Lowry said he stopped, did a quick three point turn and drove back to Roosevelt High and called 911. Now, Lowry told me the player in the back seat was shot in the neck and the player in the front seat was shot in the arm and the shoulder. He says that fortunately both are expected to live. We spoke with one of Lowry's friends who he called right after that shooting. Take a listen. I would just say keep, you know, keep the coach, keep the kids, keep the families, keep Roosevelt, keep this community, you know, at the top of your hearts, minds and prayers. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll just leave it in the hands of DISD and the officials there and uh, Dallas um, Police Department and, you know, we'll work through it. Now, there are still a lot of questions surrounding the shooting tonight. A motive is still unclear as well as why that car was targeted. So far, police haven't given any information about a suspect. So this is a story that we will continue to follow and give updates as we receive them. Reporting here in Dallas, I'm Janelle Ford. Back All right. You. Thank you, Janelle. The very latest, of course, WFA.com and on News 8 Daybreak.